Everything you thought you knew about Sweden is wrong. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. One of the privileges of doing this show is that we get to do it for an international audience. Like you. That means there's people all over the world who watch Good Mythical Morning, and that is a beautiful thing. But here's something that we have noticed. A lot of times we talk about other cultures and we comment on other countries outside of the United States of America. Mm -hmm, and you know what happens? Mm -hmm. We get things wrong. And you people out in the comments land, let us know how wrong, wrong we are. I, I don't, I've never gotten anything wrong. I gotta wrong. say, we both get things wrong. And there's this interesting thing that when you have an international audience, there are these cultural sensitivities. You get things wrong, you get blasted for it. We want that to end now, at least as far as Sweden is concerned. So we have brought in a Swedish expert to clear things up about misconceptions that we have and Americans have about Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Mr. Felix PewDiePie. Yeah, you're <laughs> hiding behind Rhett. <laughs> Take right. a seat. So you're like right in the middle. Okay, this thank is you. your seat. This is an honor, thank you so much. This is an honor, really? Well, I'm the Swedish expert, and that's like my my yeah. goal with YouTube. Well, you, you I've both. been trying to be the Swedish expert all along. Go ahead and like belly up to Sorry. the bar. Sorry, okay. That's how nice. we do it in this country. We get close to the microphone. Even, and like totally shoulder to shoulder. Okay. I don't think we have to touch uh, shoulders. That's, we don't, that's we don't, a little we weird. We I want to relax a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we want this to be. We don't get this close in Sweden, but I'll make an exception because you know. Okay, so we've already learned something. <laughs> Thank the, you. the personal no spoilers here <laughs> yeah. in Sweden is is larger. We're in it right now. You are way beyond the line. We man. shouldn't be touching like <laughs> arm. <laughs> no, that's really? not okay. My knee was touching like, your knee. Like making too. eye contact in the in the subway. That's just like the biggest no no ever. You what do you look at? You just pretend that you there's no people. Like, do you look up or down or anywhere but Any, into anyone's well, eyes? Like, you can look, yeah, exactly, anywhere but the eyes. You can nipples, right. genitals, whatever. Just, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like my own? <laughs> oh, if, yeah. Others. That's probably better. Yeah. Let's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> you're right. welcome. Well, well, now, good. I'm assuming you're an expert. I am Swedish. On expert. everything uh, Swedish. Pretty much everything, yeah. Because you have some, so many subscribers. That's how it goes, I think. That's There's an it. algorithm that's the logic. for that. Yeah. And I think one of the things that you're an expert on is, for instance, Swedish things are not Swiss. That's something that a lot of Americans that, say. Yeah, that's very offensive. They're like, you speak Swiss? <laughs> that's, no, that's stupid. No, what? but they, they I, haven't you heard it? <laughs> haven't you heard that? All the time. All really? the time. Yeah. All it's not the time. Swiss, that's and Switzerland. It, I say like, oh, they're like, oh, you're from Sweden, so you like chocolate or whatever? Because Swiss is like chocolate. <laughs> we don't even know what chocolate is. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we've got our wrong stereotypes correct today. Good. That's and good. And we're going to start with Ikea. Uh -huh. Is all the furniture in Sweden, in everyone's home, from Ikea? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. That's what I thought. All of it, 100%. 100% It's basic. <laughs> Like people I don't are, want to go that far, but uh, I mean, people will raise some eyebrows if you don't have IKEA furniture. Because here's my theory. Mm -hmm. My theory is that here in the United States, IKEA is like, oh, I got this thing from IKEA. Isn't that awesome? But in uh, Sweden, it's like, oh, you got that from Walmart. Like it's like, I, is not IKEA the Walmart of Sweden, or is it like still kind of like, no, we like it. That's Seri a, seriously, that's a good point. Like, do you have IKEA furniture? Well, you don't live in Sweden anymore. Mm -hmm. I used to have. You live IKEA in furniture. London, right? Uh, UK. Okay. Well, that's London. But yeah. Right, Brighton. LA. Okay. okay. You live in Brighton. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you lived how many years in Sweden? You own Sweden, right? I mean, you. I own not Sweden. financially. I mean, you've lived there long enough. That's where you own knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I'm the Swedish expert. I thought we talked about this. Yeah, yeah. So IKEA. I'm backtracking is at it, this point. Is it high class or low class? Or just kind oh, of that's middle of the road. Class. That's oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. See, I sorry. knew that. I'm sorry. I knew that was right. <laughs> See, but it's the... very yeah. It's like students go to IKEA. But or the oh. world, new, new couples, or I don't know. So the same is here. Yeah. Only, only people who are desperate for something to sit on go to IKEA. We we love meatballs. We go there for that. I guess. Yeah. You guys like meatballs? I do. Especially I, IKEAN meatballs. But we don't put horse in them. <laughs> Well, that happened. That we pretend that it's not a thing. Like, what? What horse? I heard about there was some horse in the meatballs over have there. Have you ever eaten horse? I mean, I guess I have because I ate IKEA meatballs. Right. <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> but the largest IKEA in the world. I is... I mean, no, I haven't. I would never. You know. Okay. For the record. For it, the record, yeah. It's in Kugenskurva. 
Wait, in what? Scar Holman. <laughs> Please say that which again. Is South Coogan's Curva. <laughs> It's the largest. I, 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 like, I can't even tell what you're trying to say. Really? <laughs> That's it's I'm, so far I'm off. I'm reading it off of my notes. Wait, can I please yeah, say how, how would you say that? C- oh, <laughs> Curva and Scarhole. Uh, that was like only funny to me. I'm sorry. Uh, Kungin's Curva. Yeah. That's, yeah, what he said. That, that's King's um, uh, Curb. King's Curb. And oh. the largest Ikea in the world is there. 594,000 square feet. Oh, damn. Has four floors. Jeez. You've never been there? That's legit. No, I haven't. That's, it. that's the big. Um, I, I need. I feel like I'm less Swedish now for not going there. Well, you should go there. Uh, now, what about the Swedish uh, chef from the Muppet Show? You, <laughs> you, you love him, right? You as a people. <laughs> I, I feel. <laughs> a, I feel like I should be offended, but I'm this really is, not. Yeah, I mean, this is <laughs> very culturally insensitive. But that's the whole point. Yeah, is, is to just get it all out of our systems mm-hmm. and correct it, at least as far as Sweden is concerned. <laughs> Let, let's, okay, are we watching this? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this guy before? I, I have a couple of times. I imagine this is how Swedish sounds to, to you guys, pretty much. As a kid, I was taught through this guy. This mm-hmm. is this is Sweden. <laughs> I mean, it's not that far off. I, I would say you can confirm that this is an accurate portrayal of, of Swedish, Swedish chefs. Chef. Yes, I would say that. That but makes d- horse meatballs. But you know. Yes. But uh, was there an awareness of this guy? on the Muppets growing up in Sweden. Like, when did you find out about this guy? From Americans. Okay. They, they want to know about it. I actually- Like in YouTube comments? That was the first time you heard about I it? I think so, yeah. Really? I am terrified of Muppets. It's an old, a long story. But- so, yeah, I stay away. But do- We'll the, save that for ear biscuits. Do the <laughs> Swedish people, do they have a disdain for the Swedish chef? Are they like, oh man, that Swedish chef, the, that stereotypical Swedish chef, mm. we hate him and what he represents. Mm. Are they like, no, that's pretty much, yeah. We don't really get offended in Sweden. Period. Oh. No, ever. That's good. Oh. You can try like, you can try to offend me, whatever. What about this five week vacation? Oh, that's, a, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's for real? Yeah, that's for real. Everybody gets a five week vacation? Gets, I think it's six. Really? Yeah. You moved to six you already. It up. Yeah, and if you you get a lot of pregnancy hours too, no days. I mean, months. okay. Yeah, you get like nine months. You get too. a lot of time to get pregnant, huh? They give you time to get pregnant. <laughs> well, no, Take no. Some time you off. have <laughs> you have six hours. Come back and to get procreate when you're pregnant. <laughs> no, when when uh, maternity after leave. Ha- that's what yeah. maternity leave, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Many businesses close down for the month of July. Everyone takes some or all of their five weeks of their entitled annual holiday. Cause here- Wait, I'm so lost, wait. Here it's like, okay, you, you've got holidays you can take, you've got time mm-hmm. you can take, but people don't take all of it. In two weeks if you're lucky. Uh, really? But mm-hmm. but my notes tell me the entire month of July is when the five week thing is yeah, like Sweden shuts when, down yeah, in July. Yeah, yeah. just people getting pregnant, not, yeah. not working. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, that's where most people, cause we, Sweden kinda sucks. The weather oh, is awful. Really? Yeah, it's terrible. And it's only good in July, so people take uh, time Why, off why should we be working now? Exactly. But have you taken five weeks? You're a YouTuber. That means you don't take any vacation. <laughs> right. But right. Uh, no, I never had like a full-time job like that. So no, I never never got to do that. Okay, but the, your, usually your, work your that friends quit actually. working. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Okay, and finally... Uh, is that is that, that weird? Uh, well, it's just, I mean, we work a little bit harder. That's all, that's all that is. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're pretty amazing. Um, we, we try. No, I we w- have to I try wish, harder. I w- I, we, we could learn from you, definitely. We shouldn't work as much. We should take a five-week vacation. I'm uh-huh. all for it. Uh, last thing, uh, waffles. We, we love waffles here. You guys seem to really love waffles there, uh-huh. so much so that apparently there is a waffle day. It's a holiday? Is it, this something that everybody knows about and celebrates? Yeah, it is. It is. Tell us about it. Well... My grandma always reminds me, and she always cooks waffles for me. Felix, it's Waffle Day. What it's is, what is amazing. That, what is that in Sweden? Swedish. It, uh, what is that fi- in Swiss? <laughs> <laughs> not funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Not funny. You got I'm not, not going to do fi- it anymore. Felix, uh, the waffle dog. It sounds like you said the waffle dog. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Felix, the waffle dog is here. <laughs> that means... It's Waffle Day. That sounds pretty good, actually. I'd have some of that. And then, you remember she, that culturally make... insensitive <laughs> stuff you were saying at the top? You're like stepping right I in. I told there. you, I'm just getting out of my but system. I told you we don't get offended. So yeah, he can't okay. get offended. Yeah, He's just so go that's, nuts. So that's, my notes tell me that's March 25th. Yeah, Am I right? Notes. I think so, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. And I totally my my grandma reminds me, so I don't keep that. And so. you have candy that imitates waffles. It's not even just that Wait, you eat what? waffles. You have candy that's Stroop like Stroop waffle. waffle. Right? What? I don't know. I what? saw it one time. We've had it shipped to us before. Stroop, what? Wa- Stroop waffle. What the hell? Well, it looks like a waffle, but it's like wafery candy stuff. Hmm. Like you go into a gas station and it's like, oh, that's a waffle. Nope, it's candy that's shaped like a waffle. That must be Switzerland. <laughs> I want to see this. I don't. Yeah, it must be Switzerland. Yeah. That was damn Swiss. Um, okay, but there is a waffle I, day, which I is did something eat them all again, time. again, were they good? Something we can yeah. learn from you. We need to undervalue IKEA furniture. We need to celebrate Waffle Day, and we need to have five week vacations. I think mm-hmm. we've, we've learned a lot here. We've yeah, accomplished I think quite so. a bit. I'm glad. I'm. Glad. You feel like that. <laughs> I definitely do. <laughs> Thanks for liking and commenting on this video. Remember, you can support the show by checking out lynda.com where you can find thousands of online video tutorials. Oh, yeah. Learn how to video edit or I maybe play video games oh, and like give got that why not? A riveting commentary over the top. For a free trial, visit <laughs> lynda.com slash root and link. You say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Simon at Stockholm University. It's time to spin the centrifuge. And also, the Wheel of Mythicality. We don't have a Waffle Day in this country, but we do have Waffle Wednesday on the Rettling Instagram, so make sure you follow that. And if you're one of the very few people on Earth who's not subscribed to PewDiePie yet, you can make that happen by going to his channel and hitting the subscribe button. Also, more world domination. <laughs> Click through to Good Mythical More. What is oh, this? Oh, God, no. Swedish no, tasties. Don't. We're going to be eating these. How did you get these? Uh, from Sweden. <laughs> we, have, we have Mythical Beasts there. You can uh, hate, we'll thank him later. Link narrates everything Rhett does. As you can see, the Rhett creature has moved the wheel and he's tasting the most famous person on YouTube. Delicious. <laughs> what? He's, uh, he's tasting him <laughs> and finding that he indeed tastes like waffles. Ooh, that smell! Oh, God! Oh! What? I'm done. I'm not Swedish anymore. Oh, my goodness! I'm done.